All right, guys, another video of the collections videos. Again, my name is Shannon Comes That Night. And my art name is Scan24. That's just my initials and the year that I started this year painting. That's all that means. Nothing more, nothing less. I'd like to brag about myself and say, yeah, man, it means like I scan the environment of art products and I do it 24-7. Unfortunately, this is more or less a pastime for me because I do work a regular job. But this one is to commemorate and to honor the immortal Andy Warhol who took over the scene, no matter what kind of Goya was on the market or any kind of Picasso or uh, what's another one? Monet. It doesn't matter. This dude seems to outdo us all. He is out there and he is in there and he's just Andy. So I commemorated him. Um, I have a two inch painter's brush that my wife gave me and I call it Andy Warhol. I spell it Andy War, W-A-R-H-A-L-L, -L, two words on the end, but his, his the real name is Andy Warhol, and this is made by that painter's brush. And as you can see, we have a Andy Warhol face with my favorite kind of sliding eye. Zunk, bunk. And that's from Bob Ross. Bob Ross taught me that. We trust in Bob. In Bob we trust. For all you artists out there who are beginning, in Bob we trust. Go to Bob. If you don't know, now you know. Now, this is your regular Scan24 creature. It's got the smiley faces, it's got the eyes, it's got the sharp teeth. And this represents a tree. And this um, painting is called Andy Warhol's Life as a Tree. And Again, what it's meant to commemorate is Andy Warhol, in my fictional story, became a tree. And then he became my paintbrush, which is awesome. Okay, now, same thing. Eyes, smiley face, love it. Core, right there, you can see the paintbrush. That's Andy Warhol right there getting down. These etchings are mine by Scan24. I wanted to do like a little bit of blue there just to do something different because I'm always doing just plain colors and then the etchings. Then again, we have the three mouth duck, whatever thing that is connected to old Andy here. And then that's me. All right, now it's the first one. Now that one, so we got off to a promising start on this because this is a very nice collection. Very nice. Very authentic. Aesthetically pleasing. Not just because it's Andy, because it's Scan24, yo. All right, so this one, another Andy and Friends collection. 2024. This one's number four. This one's called Warhol's Picasso. Now, I wanted to get down Andy Warhol style or Picasso style, whichever I could. Didn't matter. But again, we have these things at this point are representing the two inch brush, and that's Andy Warhol right there. And friend. He always seems to bring a friend every now and then, so I draw this friend. I don't know who this friend is, but this is someone who's followed Andy throughout. Not too sure who he is. He's definitely in. He loves Andy. I've drawn him a couple times. And then we have the paintbrush itself in a malformed way. Just mutated to the nerve. See? The brushes have become snouts and... I didn't put any teeth there, and a lot of people say, well, you missed opportunity, because I'm always looking for opportunity to put a face and some teeth somewhere, 
and right there is a glaring hole. I could have put eyes there, as you could have seen, but I didn't. And this is a very, very nice piece. Again, this one is Warhol's Picasso. I tried to get Picasso -y on it, but you know. Who can do Warhol and Picasso at the same time? That'd be me. All right, now this one is a Goya. It's part of the Goya collection unofficially. I have a Goya collection called the Goya Collection by Scan24. This one is called Warhol's Goya. It's part of the Andy and Friends Collection 2024, but also part unofficially part of the Goya Collection by Scan2024. This one, I want it to be dark. I want it to kind of resemble a Goya in the last days of his life. Francesco Goya is who I'm talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. And he was an artist back in the day for France, um, Spain, sorry. And he witnessed some very terrible atrocities within his country because of civil war and or the takeover from different countries. And he painted it. And in his final days, he was deaf and he was painting black walls and crazy ass shit. And as you guys know, paint comes from guano, which is bat shit, you know? And you could smell it too when you're painting. I mean, I'm a new painter, but when I paint with black or brown, I mean, you really get a good texture. But it's shit. It's guano. But hey, it's what we do, you know? Comes from China, and China's got to make their shit for us somehow, you know? Can't be picky. Just gotta take what they give us. As long as it's safe. <laughs> I mean, shit, man. These days, who is safe? You know? I don't know. But that's where everything's coming from out of China is the guano, as far as I know. The best guano is in China. They have a whole country dedicated where these bats are. Fortunately, that's where COVID-19 came from also, somewhere around in that area, from the guano. Nonetheless, this one is very beautiful, you know? And I love the darkness of it. And again, we got eyeballs. I was trying to make this into like a trademark, you know? Uh, we got like a horn creature kind of jutting off here, a head, show you know, some kind of person. This is another person, got another neck, kind of splits off into this dude. This dude is kind of halfway scary looking the most, you know, but I always give a happy face to remind myself that art's supposed to make happy. Now this is pretty cool right here eyes with the two smiley faces. I've done this with the noses, but never with the two smiley faces like that. And then we got this one, consensual, consent, concentric circle, sorry. Got time talking right now. Teeth, eyes, teeth, eyes, teeth, eyes, scan 24. Very nice scan, jeez. Warhol's Goya. Who could paint a Warhol and a Goya at the same time? I don't know, but I did. This one's called Warhol Blues, Andy and Friends Collection Number Two, acrylic canvas by none other than Shannon Comes at Night. All right, here we go. At the bottom, we have some kind of man. This guy was in the last picture, but he was facing the other way, remember? And then here's his buddy. I wanted to make sure that when I got this one, we saw that this is what the blues is about. The blues is about unknown things. It's about music, it's about water. 
It's about life, it's about breathing, it's about looking at this and feeling either nauseated or happy or depressed. We got teeth, we got a vine coming out. This is just a little guy, look at it. He looks like some kind of elephant. I wanted to try to make him an elephant. I guess he didn't come out. And then this would be his third head. And then the teeth, and then this guy. This is another one of those floating dudes, you know, levitating. This guy's got wings, so he's like a bird. That guy's walking. That's number two. And now we get to number one for Mr. Andy and Friends. This one's called the Andy, Andy Warhol Dollar. And of course, it's green on top, pink on bottom, and you see Andy right there. Let's get a good look on this. Here we are. Look at this, dude. See, look at that. I even tried to make it horse-like. There's a dollar, there's your eagle, there's your eyes. I ain't got 13 anything or anything like that because I didn't want to... And that is a big old long neck, otherwise known as a brontosaurus burger. And then some more legs. And you couldn't really tell which way it's going, you know? Is it going that way or is it going this way? I don't know. But that's the top of the dollar, I guess. Well, the back. Because the front would be Andy himself. Now this is not Andy Warhol. The, this is my paintbrush, Andy Warhol. And remember, like I said, in my fictional story, Andy Warhol became a tree, and then he became my two inch brush. Here we got the various goddess Nike um, sickles. I kind of drew those in there. Commemorate all that stuff. Now we got happy faces again. This is all his friends. Like I told you, Andy is a friends dude. He brings friends with him. On that one, that's supposed to be an eye with the three smiling faces right there. Right there. See that? That's supposed to be an eye. Again, three, three. Moving over. Smiley face. And then we got the sickle, and this is the paintbrush. There's Andy, Andy Warhol, spelled War, W-A-R-H-A-L-L. -L. More sickles, more eyeballs. And that's the Andy Warhol dollar, y'all. That's what I imagined it. And... I hope you guys enjoyed that one because that is pretty cool. Again, that one's called Andy and Friends Collection by Scan24. Check it out. Having a good day, guys. See ya.